let me begin by saying that border security and enforcement is primarily the responsibility of the federal government. And unfortunately, uh, for decades, we have not had an effective strategy that is border-wide. Uh, we've not devoted the attention, personnel, and resources that have been required to cover the border all the way from Brownsville to San Diego. Now, from day one, the Obama administration has taken its responsibility here seriously and has developed and implemented a clear strategy to obtain that personnel, those resources, that equipment and technology. And the strategy is showing real progress. We've deployed more U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement personnel than ever before to work strategically on investigations, intelligence, and interagency task forces to combat smuggling and human trafficking. So while we've taken unprecedented actions to increase border security and improve interior enforcement, we are not satisfied. And today, I'd like to announce several new steps in our enforcement efforts. The first is a new partnership with the Major City Chiefs Association to create a Southwest Border Law Enforcement Compact. We're also creating a system that will fully interlink the information systems of all state, local, and tribal law enforcement entities operating along the Southwest Border with those of DHS and of DOJ. We're also establishing a Suspicious Activities Reporting, or SARS, program for the Southwest Border. This will help local officers recognize and track incidents related to criminal activity by drug traffickers and utilize this information for targeted law enforcement operations on both sides of the border. Next, we're strengthening the analytic capability of the state and major urban area fusion centers along the southwest border so that they are better able to receive and share threat information improving our ability to recognize and mitigate emerging threats. Next, we're partnering with the Office of National Drug Control Policy to implement Project Roadrunner, an automated license plate recognition system. Project Roadrunner was conceived to target both north and southbound drug trafficking and associated illegal activity along the southwest border. Now, securing our border requires constant pressure, and maximizing our efforts, especially against traffickers and criminals, will require more than just federal, state, and local resources. It will also require Congress working across party lines to enact changes to our immigration laws so that we have a comprehensive set of reforms that meet the needs of our country. And this administration is committed to taking that step. Thank mm -hmm. you.